to warm up an upper body workout with seated side raises. It really gives me a great shoulder pump and I like starting the workout with something to really fire up the muscles. I then moved to seated external dumbbell rotations. These really work that front delt and gives a nice shoulder pump as well. I'm really behind on macros. I was standing around the expo all day, so my strength is really not there. But I definitely wanted to put in a good workout, so I just using 20 to 25 dumbbells. I'm pausing at the bottom, pausing in the middle, just focusing on the squeeze, getting a good workout, getting a good pump in. Definitely getting in a lot of supersets. I superset this with dumbbell front raises and I really couldn't last that long because from the pauses my shoulders burn like hell. <laughs> I'm getting in some lat work. This is a lat pull down machine. Squeezing super hard, keeping the chest up, pulling through the lat, stretching at the top, keeping my core tight. Really focusing on all these different movements to make the most out of each exercise. <sighs> then move to straight arm cable pull downs. It's another lat movement. Get a nice stretch in the lats, pull with the lats, keeping the chest up, again, core tight nice and controlled. I then moved to kettlebell one arm rows. I, I'm pulling with the lats, squeezing hard at the top, not focusing on pulling with the shoulders or arms, but more with the back. And then I just moved to the other side, did 10 reps with each arm. I then moved to cable tricep extension, really focusing on getting in that good squeeze. I like to hold on to my tricep, making sure that my elbow stays nice and close to my body and only pushing down with the tricep. Superset the tricep extensions with cable bicep curls, keeping the elbows nice and tight, getting that good squeeze in the bicep. I didn't have a stand to put the camera on, so I tried to get low and show you guys how I'm getting in that squeeze. <sighs> Face pulls are definitely one of my favorites to hit rear delts back. It feels like a powerful movement and I'm keeping my chest up, making sure to pull with the back, squeezing nice and tight. I just want to show you guys what the whole place looked like. This was an extension of the apartment complex we were staying in, and this is all they had to offer. So it was definitely a great workout and a lot of good things to work with. So this is the pool where we're staying. This is downtown LA. It's the apartment complex, and that's what the gym looks like right there. Great session.
So I had a great gym session, great upper body lift. I just like wanted to get a good pump and I did 25 minutes, max incline. On the treadmill, nothing crazy. It was a really long day. It was a lot of fun. It's just I wanted to at least get something in because I know that tomorrow I'll be traveling. I won't get a chance to get to the gym and the gym always just makes me feel better. It makes me clear my head. So that was a good lift. And the weird thing was there was a bunch of guys in there but all the guys were on the cardio machines and all of them were really skinny. And I was the only one lifting weights, so that picture really didn't make any sense. But it's okay. I took up my lift in, and they told me there one guy was like You're lifting pretty heavy, so that felt good. <laughs> but they should be lifting with me, not hitting the cardio. They need some more muscle. But everybody's got different goals, I guess. So, but it was it was nice about being in that gym and getting a lift, and my mascara is now coming down my eyes. Very attractive. Um, I'm about to go upstairs with Emily and we're gonna just chill tonight. Um, me and her like basically live like the same kind of lives. I'm glad to go to bed early, but to just chill the fitness lifestyle. Um, don't need to party or anything. Okay, I need to stop this vlog. I'm like <laughs> going blind. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed some of the workouts and uh, it's fun to just get out of like what you're normally doing and try something different being in a different um, Gym it sort of gets you to be more creative and try something new so that was fun and can't wait to eat So this is the room that I stayed in It's pretty cute bed and oh my crap And then the closet Hallway, walk in, walk in, bathroom. Hello. It's the first bathroom. It's the living room. Emily's sleeping in there. Here's our beautiful downtown LA view. View of the pool and the gym. Gym's right down there. And here is our kitchen. You can tell girls who lift are in this kitchen because look at all the containers, gallon, meal prep bag, tons of Tupperware, supplements, Oreos. Me and Emily had Oreos every day. They are an awesome treat to have at night. And the another view. So it is Sunday, sad Sunday, I have to leave California. I really don't want to go home. I enjoy every minute of being here and I enjoy being with nice, genuine people. I had a great time and I'm very thankful to met a lot of the Pardoma athletes and I think they're all strong women and strong group of girls who are a great example in the fitness community. And I had the pleasure of staying with Emily for the weekend and her and her boyfriend are just incredible people and I am so thankful to be at the opportunity to stay with them and truly connect with them. So it was great though walking around the expo and talking to a lot of different people and being watching the bodybuilding.com search. So a lot of things happened yesterday and at night we just chilled and hung out and talked and that's to me is like super fun and I hope that when I come out here eventually I'll be able to find somebody who I connect with just like I connect with Emily and all the Allie and Amanda and Brittany like just all of them so they're all great people and I just don't want to go home but I gotta get back to school back to reality and look forward to seeing everybody at the Arnold so that'll be a great time that's an awesome expo 
longer amount of time being there so I really get the opportunity to just talk to everybody and enjoy being with everybody. I did eat most of my meals but I have some meals packed for the airport and that's just what's left. I've got some apple cider vinegar for my salads when I have that but yeah just packing everything up and basically went through most of the food I bought which is good and I was able to track so I enjoyed that. Starbucks to get some coffee. What are we gonna get? So the, whatever you get, the sugar-free coffee. Oh yeah. yeah, so we get coffee with a shot of espresso and then sugar-free. I like sugar-free mocha, but this Starbucks didn't have it, so we're getting sugar-free caramel. Yeah, Emily has me up. It's very good. I'm <laughs> sorry I look like this, I like did not sleep. Oh, you look amazing. Since me and Emily had Oreos every single day during this trip, we are ending it with Oreos this morning with our coffee. There's two left. Like Emily said, it's meant to be that each of us have one. Emily! <laughs> An ounce of almond milk, and we're eating the last two. I'm having one, and Samantha's having one. Oreos. It's the cinnamon bun Oreos. I don't know if I showed you two yet, but it was on my Snapchat. These are delicious. They're so, so good. All right guys, so for breakfast, I'm having one whole egg, two egg whites, and some oats with cinnamon, sort of exploded in the microwave, <laughs> and some almond butter. And I'll be heading to the airport pretty soon and headed back home. After a long flight, it was very sad to see Philly and not be back in California. I wanted to like turn the plane around, but Jersey. I cannot believe I'm back. It went by too fast, but I enjoyed the entire trip and I'm playing macro catch up. Wish I was enjoying my Oreos. Like I've been enjoying every night with Emily and her husband. It was, I love the Oreos. So ice cream and cinnamon toast crunch. It's like past midnight and I have so many macros left, but I'll just get this in and get a little bit of work done because I have so many emails to get to. Okay guys, so it is Monday and I re returned home actually technically at 12.30 a.m. this morning from California. It was the longest ride home between the snow and having all those delays. It just took forever to get home. So like I left California at 12.30 and I didn't get home for another 12 hours later. So that was a little insane, but happy to be home. I will admit it is very stressful to come home to being so behind on emails and I tried my best during my time away to get to everybody as fast as I could. And I got to some while I was away and some I just had to wait till Monday. So I don't like answering clients more than one or two days when they send me their photos or any questions. So I really, really try to stay on top of them. And for me, it's very stressful. And I feel like I get a lot of anxiety when I have them and their problems on my mind and their questions. And I really, really want to get to it. So I worked in the airport. I worked while I was away at the LA Fit Expo. And I worked as soon as I got home. I stayed up till two in the morning when I got home last night or this, technically this morning. And then I had to go to class crazy story I uh, had it my mom took my keys to her work so I didn't have a car and I used my grandma's car so I drove into chem chemistry and I tried to go park in a spot and I got stuck in the spot so I couldn't get out of the snow I was shoveling it crying my eyes out because I was just so nervous and I tried to call AAA they said three hour wait and I had to get had to get to class so that was extremely stressful for me and then all of a sudden like some guy finally came and he helped me and he shoveled a little bit and then he helped me push the car while I put it in reverse and I got out 
I was so, so upset. But then I thought, I have to just like think, think positive. So I went to class. Wound up being that my lab was canceled, so we just had a short lecture, which was awesome because not having a chemistry lab is definitely less, so much less stressful. So my class was short, and my teacher completely understood. He's such a nice guy. Um, he's Professor Subash. He's at Rowan University. If anybody knows that him or anything, so he was incredibly nice, and I just love him a lot. And so I got done in class. Everything was okay with my car, and. I wind up like not having to stress over, over not being with la in lab, so because there was no lab, so it wound up working out. And then I was got home. I was so tired. I got five hours of sleep last night, and I was like, oh, I really want to train legs, but I just don't feel like enough energy to do that because I was just overly exhausted from being stressed with school and stressed with my clients. I just mentally knew that I couldn't put my best like workout in. Excuse me. Anyways, I decided to do back and arms. I was like, I need to get to the gym. Just put in a workout because I didn't work out on Sunday. And I just want to do whatever I can. So it wound up being that me and my sister put in a great workout. We did like a bunch of stuff that we never do. And my arms are so sore. And it wound up being awesome. So I just, I mean, did some cardio after. So. Definitely the gym like always can change your entire mood, make your entire day, and that's why I always like recommend to do something every day, a little bit of time, to something that you care about and enjoy it. So that way it'll make you feel better and more accomplished. So that just felt great and I got more emails, more programs sent out, and I'm almost caught up, so just trying to like get everything together and Looking forward to next week being back on my regimen and having uh, emails answered right away. So I appreciate any of my clients who do watch this, who did have patience with me this weekend. I truly appreciate it and I'm sorry for any delays this weekend. So you guys did awesome and I'm proud of all you guys all the time. Anyways, today I'm going to have dessert. I have been used to like hoarding macros now since this weekend. Like for having like bomb desserts. So I'm having two ounces of a complete cookie birthday cake. And Emily has had me hooked on Oreos. And so we've been eating Cinnabon Oreos four per night. And I decided to get some red velvet Oreos. So I'm gonna eat two of these and two ounces of the cookie for dessert. <laughs> 